the jury has been selected to determine the fate of three men, three white men who killed a young African American named Ahmaud Arbery. This happened down in South Georgia, Brunswick is the location. 11 of the jury members are white, only one is black. I want to remind you of what happened. This is graphic, here it is. Pisses me off every time I see that righteous indignation comes up inside of me. That was a murder, okay? They hunted him down and they killed him. And then they recorded it. Now, some people are saying, well, thank goodness for the recording because we have the video evidence. I want you to understand why they were recording it. He was there to record, yes, but he was there to record because they were going to review it. Over and over and over again amongst themselves and their racist cohorts. That is exactly what they were going to do, okay? Now, these three men have been charged with murder and rightfully so. Let's put up a picture of the father son duo, the McMichaels, and also the guy named William Roddy Bryan, the man recording. All of them have been charged in the death of Ahmaud Arbery. The jury has only one black person, only one black person will serve on the jury that will be tasked with determining whether three white men accused in the killing of Ahmaud Arbery committed murder or not. Let me give you some background because this gets deep. The jury selection process reached its conclusion in the case on Wednesday. The trial is set to begin at 9 a.m. on Friday following two weeks of jury selection process. Now, the jury will be composed of 11 white people and one black person. After defense lawyers for Gregory and Travis McMichael and William Roddy Bryan successfully struck 11, count that, 11 of the remaining 12 per prospective black jurors in the final pool serving on the jury. Now. Let's put up a picture of our dear brother who has been murdered by these POSs, okay? See, he deserves better than that. That young man right there who was simply jogging in a community, jogging while black, he deserves better than what he's getting. He deserves justice, full justice. Now, you mean to tell me that out of the remaining 12 black people, only one of them could serve on this jury, only one. Even the judge said it seemed discriminatory. Let's get it, the judge said the attempts to strike the prospective black jurors in mass appeared to involve, dare I say it, intentional discrimination. Now, after a judge says something like that, you just have to think, okay, okay, all right, cool. You understand what's happening here, Judge. I'm glad you said that. You understand systemic bias, uh, racism, uh, race identity politics inside of the courtroom. You know what's happening here. You see what the defense is trying to do good. I'm glad you said something, Judge. And then the judge says something else. After admitting that the practice does seem discriminatory, the judge then said that he would not reseat them, talking about the jurors. Because the defense offered, and I quote, legitimate, non-discriminatory, clear, reasonable, specific reasons to strike each individual juror. So here's what he's saying. He said, yeah, I know it's racist. He said, yeah, I know exactly what they're doing. 
Um, but hey, they cited some fancy ass statutory language here. I mean, what can I do? My hands are tied, I'm only the judge. Statement from Ben Crump, Ben Crump said, and I quote, after being hunted down, cornered and shot for being a black man in a white Georgia neighborhood, Ahmaud Arbery is again denied justice. His killer's fate will be decided by nearly all white jury after defense attorneys denied eight potential black jurors, even in the even the judge acknowledged there appears to be intentional discrimination in the panel. A jury should reflect the community. Brunswick is 55% black. So it's outrageous, said Crump, that black jurors were intentionally excluded to create such an imbalanced jury in a cynical effort to help these cold blooded killers escape justice. Systemic bias, routine racism, normative in the judicial system. So much so that the judge acknowledges it and doesn't do a damn thing to change it. Senator Turner, what are your thoughts? It's chilling. I mean, it is just chilling, running out of adjectives to describe this, at least in a PG form. You know, the Supreme Court ruled, what, about 85 years ago? I think it's linked to the Scottsboro Boys case, of 1932, where nine black boys were accused of raping two white women. As the story goes, it turned out to be a flat out lie, but not before their lives were disrupted and destroyed. Yeah. But it was because of that case that the Supreme Court ruled that not having a black representation on black rep representation on juries was unfair. Mm -hmm. Yep. And here we are in 2021, same stuff, different day. I mean, I yeah. am marveled by, in a negative way, how something like this could happen in 2021. And to your point, Doc, about the judge acting as though he is helpless, he is not helpless. That's right. Wearing the robe, he's in full control. He controls the court. So he, he's wrong too, and he's complicit. 100%. Judge, you're complicit. Damn right, all the way.